Hey, g'day everyone. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Now in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make ambient super trap melodies for artists such as Yeet or Redder inside of FL Studio. Now, if you are new here, I would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button for me. And while you're at it, you might as well flick that taco bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. If you do want to follow my socials, they'll be right here on screen. But with that one being said, let's get into FL studio and let's deconstruct this melody okay so here we are inside of fl studio and with this one we honestly kept it really simple we have four melodic layers and one bass now we are working in the key of c minor at a bpm of 155 but the final sample actually gets pitched to d sharp minor and we still keep the same bpm now the first preset that we do use comes in from serum and that one is the thin and great synth which comes in from the Sunshine Hate Serum Bank. Now, if you do want a link to that one, I'll be leaving it in the description. Go over there, show Sunshine some love. And the pant that we are playing with this one, though, is something really, really simple. We are utilizing two chords. So the first power chord that comes in is a C power chord, where we utilize this C and this G. And the second chord that comes in is a D sharp power chord, which is this D sharp and this A. We copy and paste that one over again and again and again. But for a little bit of variance at the very end, we throw in a really simple top line melody, which is this C, this C, this A sharp, and this G run at the very end. And in context, we get a foundation that sounds like so. Just a really simple pant with that one. And going on to the effects, we kept it really simple because all we have is an EQ, getting rid of a lot of the low end. Going on to the next element of this melody, it comes in from Serum yet again. And the preset with this one is the Square Synth, which yet again comes in from the Hate Sunshine Serum Bank. Now the pant that we are playing with this one is what I like to call a harmonic chord progression because it is the harmonies of the first chord progression. Now what I mean by that is the first chord that we had was a C power chord, which consists of the C and the G. Now what we have here is a G power chord. We have a note in common, which is that G. And the fifth of that one is the D. Going on to the next power chord, it is an A sharp power chord where we have this A sharp and this F down here. Now, you might be wondering, wait, why is the F down low instead of being up high? If I was to bump that one up an octave, we have your typical A sharp power chord. But I wanted to change the voicing around a little bit, so we bumped that F down an octave. We copy the first note, but we cut that one in half, forcing some rhythm into it. We copy the second note yet again. But for the final note, instead of actually using a power chord, we just use the first and the third, which in this case is the D sharp and the G. We copy, paste that one over, and we get a harmonic chord progression that sounds like so. Going on to the effects with this one, believe it or not, it's just an EQ getting rid of a lot of the low end. The next element that comes in is from Serum yet again, and the preset that we are using with this one is the lead sine wave, which comes in from the Hate Sunshine kit yet again. And the pattern that we are playing with this one is something really simple. We start on the A sharp, go down to G, down to D, before we do a little bit of a starter, going D sharp to F to D sharp, we finish the first pattern on this C. We copy and paste that one over, but we have a little bit of variance in the second part where instead of ending on the C, we have this C here, but then we end on the F. And in context, we get a top lead that sounds like so. Just a really simplistic lead with this one. Going on to the effects, all we have is an EQ, getting rid of some of the high end and some of the low end, leaving room for a bass. Speaking of the bass, the one that we are using comes in from Serum, and this one is the Reese bass, which comes in from the Sunshine Opium Serum Bank this time. And if you do want to link to that one, link to Sunshine's channel in the description. Go over there, show them some love. Now, the pattern that we are playing with this one is something 
really simple. Now, remember at the beginning of the video, I said we are working in the key of C minor, but the final sample has been pitched to D sharp. So all we did is we followed the root notes, which is D sharp to F sharp, D sharp to F sharp, copy, paste that one over, and we get a simplistic bass pattern that sounds like so. Going on to the effects with the bass, we honestly kept it really simple because all we have is an SSL compressor coming in, just being used as a glue, making sure that everything is even across the board. The final element in this melody comes in from Serum, and that one is the Pad King, which comes in from the Sunshine Hate Kit yet again. And the pattern that we are playing with this one is honestly something really simple. We are playing D sharp over two octaves, just keeping it really simple, but just adding it in for a little bit of texture and a little bit of ambience. In context, it sounds like so. Really simple, going on to the effects with this one. Yet again, all we have is an EQ, getting rid of some of the high end and getting rid of a lot of the low end. Now, all the melodic layers get routed over to insert five, where we have an Ozone 9 imager, making it just really wide in the mix. We have a sound shifter, like I said, pitching it up three semitones from the key of C minor, putting it onto D sharp. We have a shaper box that comes in, which we are using the Cyber Crunch preset. Another shaper box comes in, which all we're doing with that one is just manipulating the filter, just making it warp around. An EQ comes in where we get rid of a decent amount of low end. And an SSL compressor comes in just being used as a glue. But yeah, that is how you can make a really simplistic ambient super trap melody for artists such as Yeet or Redder inside of FL Studio. If you are new here yet again, I would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you may as well flick that taco bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. If you do want to follow my socials, they'll be right here on screen. And if you do want to listen to the final product, I'll be leaving a Spotify link in the description. Go over there, listen to the instrumental. But with that one being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time for another video.